Hi, Dave Anderson here at the camera company. Today we're going to be taking some pictures of these waterfalls. What I'd like to do is demonstrate the impact that shutter speed has on your finished photo. First we're going to take some pictures at a high shutter speed, thereby freezing the motion of the water. And then we're going to take some more images with a very slow shutter speed, making the water look nice and milky. We're going to put those into our Lightroom and show you what we get. So let's get started. Okay, we have both of our images now in Lightroom, side by side. Now both of these images were captured with the camera mounted on a sturdy tripod and I used a cable release in order to mitigate any camera movement. The only movement I wanted to see was in the water falling down the falls and bubbling at the base of the falls. So the image on the left had a shutter speed of 1 160th of a second. It's not super fast, but it's fast enough to make all those bubbles uh, nice and sharp and give them definition. Now the image on the right had a shutter speed of 1.3 seconds. So that was a, an exposure which was equal to about 208 times the length of the exposure on the left. With the camera mounted firmly on a tripod, you can see that the moss and the, and the rocks and everything stay nice and sharp, while the only movement is in our water falling down the waterfalls and bubbling at the bottom, giving us that nice feeling of movement and a milkiness at the bottom of the waterfall. So the difference here was 1 160th of a second on the left and 1.3 seconds on the right. The longer exposure, of course, shows that motion. As you can see, a fast shutter speed will freeze the uh, motion, where a slow shutter speed will allow that motion to blur and become more milky. It's up to you. Practice this. If this tip was helpful, please follow us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we will see you on the next video.